Listen, we can't worry, okay? For some reason, Tess needs Ford, and that'll keep him safe. Well, what do we do now? You go home, you keep trying to call Ford back, and if you get through to him, you call me right away. Okay, and you call me if you hear from Jessica, or Tess. Let's hope it's Jessica, that she's strong enough to break through. Jessica. Oh, thank God you're back. <laughs> Wrong. Still Tess. But you bought that in a little act, huh? I'm sure Clint will like it, too. Oh, Daddy. I was so scared. It was so awful. Ford fought with Brody, and then he dragged me off to this hotel, and I was so alone and so vulnerable, just like the last Good. time, and right. I tried Get to... the picture. Really? Because I was there. I was there when Jessica told Clint what you did to her. You took advantage of his little girl when she couldn't think straight? I saw the look in his eyes. Good old cowboy Clint. Surprised he didn't try and kill you. He came close enough. Oh, yeah. Mr. Black and Mr. Blue. So you know what he's capable of. Still want to find a dry phone? All right, could you check again, please? Try Jessica Buchanan. Jessica Brennan. Robert Ford. What? When? Hey, did you find her? I think so. This place is pretty romantic. You're right. It is. So? So? Are you prepared for this? I mean, the shadow of your father threatening to have me charge a statutory rape is kind of looming over my shoulder. Oh. Actually, by prepared, I, I meant... Uh, oh! Prepared. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah, we're... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. And you know what? As far as that shadow looming... It's just a shadow. My dad has no idea where we are. <laughs> guys were up here. I'm here to convince you to come home. No. No way, Star. I'm not coming home until Dad understands that he has to accept Nate. This or else I'm out of his life for good. This is not going to convince him to accept Nate, but it will convince him to kill him. Star's got a point. I thought you were on our side. Dude, I am, but I actually value your life, so... No. We're not coming home until we're ready to. Star, there's no way that I'm going to go through what you had to with our dad threatening to hurt my boyfriend or threatening to move me away from the people that I love. And what makes you think that it's going to be so different when you come home? Well, because dad missed out on most of my life. Remember, you know how bad he feels about that? He does everything he can to make up for it. So if dad understands that he could push me away forever and that he could lose me all over again, he'll back down. Okay. What? So, oh. <laughs> I mean, okay. Good luck with that. Star, we haven't even really run away, okay? We're just here biding our time. This is gonna work. Unless you tell Dad where we are. So wait, remind me. Um, how did you cover for Tess? Our daughter is missing, and that's what you want to talk about? Yeah. I want to know how you could do that to Vicky, to someone you love. It's 
stuff happens. Stuff happens. That's that's your explanation. That's why you covered for your mentally ill niece. Tess found out that I was hiding Marty here, and she threatened to wrap me out if I didn't let her stay. Ah, so in order to protect your bizarre relationship with Marty, you let Tess lock her sister up in a basement. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I was different then, right? Isn't that what you said before? I'm a new Todd. <laughs> yes, I have. So, new Todd, when Danny and Nate do show up, <clears throat> they're both over the age of consent, by the way. You do know that, right? Are you going to let them do what teenagers are supposed to do? I'm sorry, what are they supposed to do? Teenagers are supposed to fall in love. They're supposed to learn about life. Oh, do you mean the way Star did? No. No way. Danny does not get to screw her life up. Over my dead body, she does that. <clears throat> Thanks, Todd. Tell me all I needed to know. What the hell does that mean? You know, I'm just protecting my daughter the way our father should. You know, I don't know what kind of mother you are that you don't understand that. A good one. Robert Ford bought two plane tickets to Las Vegas. Las Vegas? Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's Tessa's style, partying and drinking with no regard for Jesse's health. I'm gonna catch the next plane and bring her back. Well, do you even know where they're staying? No, but I can use my connections at the LPD to find out. Listen, I hope I'm not gone long, but if I am, could you please? Oh, of course. I'll take care of Ryder and right. Bree. Oh, that poor child. Look, I'm just gonna tell her her mother's away, okay? I know that there's still a lot to work out of, not only my relationship to Ryder, but also to Natalie's baby. But there's time for that. I know. But it's the reason Jessica broke down. Just find her, Brody. Once we get Tess here, then we can work on getting Jesse back. <sighs> so we've booked the chapel. Now all we need to do is get a marriage license, huh? Hey, buddy. I don't want to be married to you any more than you want to be married to me. But the sooner we get this over with, the sooner I can be protected from a trip to St. Anne's by my sweet and loving husband, who makes all my mental health decisions for me, and you can be protected from a uh, Dudley Do-Good keeping your kid from you. So I'm going to get dressed. Even if I am marrying a beast, I'm going to look like a beauty on my wedding day. Here comes the bride. But this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? Well, when Danny took off from that boarding school you had her in, then you went crazy. You couldn't get to the cops fast it's enough. It's because Ross was after her, Todd. Yeah, now Nate is. Todd, no one is after our daughter. Danny loves Nate. Yeah. She does. And I trust her. I don't want to involve the LPD in what I know isn't a missing persons case. I have no idea where she is. That's a missing person in my book. And I will notify the police if it comes to that. So you're just going to sit here and twiddle your thumbs? Fine. You parent your way, I'll parent mine. Here's your phone. Get my people on this. know what we're doing if i were going to rat you out i would have called dad and told him where you and nate are but i thought i could come here and talk you into coming home and i didn't think it would be too cool if you were holding danny's hand when she did confront her dad so i came to give you a lift home. now let's go no Thanks. look i'm sorry you both wasted your time well it's only a matter of time before dad finds you here and I'm not going to let you guys be sitting ducks. What does that mean? It means that if you're staying, I'm staying to do damage control. Sounds like a plan. Ugh. Say goodbye to Ryder. 
Told him I'd bring his mother back. Please do that. Please. Please bring Jesse home. Langston, it's Brody. Did Jessica call? No, but I know where she is. I tracked her and Ford to Las Vegas. I'm on my way there now. Well, I'm coming with you. No, Langston, that's a bad idea. You need to stay here and wait for word. I'll be in touch. <laughs> to hell with that. Hey, come on out here. Sit me up. But, uh, keep your meat hooks off me, okay? Oh, I can hardly wait till this is over. I can get a little tattoo. Maybe I'm... Oh. I told you, you are not messing with Jessica's body. You are so cute when you think you have control, really. Now let's go. We can go get wedding rings in the lobby. Let's go get married. One life to live. There's something I have to tell you. You slept with someone?